Here is how to answer the five common interview questions for new aircraft maintenance engineer apprentice. The first common question is why do you want to become an aircraft maintenance engineer? This is a common question I have seen a lot of companies ask apprentice and the reason why is aircraft maintenance engineering is a long term career and you guys will notice whenever you get into the industry a lot of people that are being in the industry for a really long time actually retire becoming an aircraft maintenance engineer right and aircraft maintenance engineering requires a lot of investment from companies so companies got to get you a type course and i'm talking about now just one type course they got to get you like four or five type courses and those type courses are not cheap at least one of them costs at least five thousand dollars it's a lot of investment they got to go through training they got to get your certification right that is a lot of investment in on the company side so they want to know someone they're about to invest in right thousands of dollars right does that person want to do it for a short time or a long term and the reason why you want to become an aircraft maintenance engineer we tell them the actual answer and i'll use myself for example right i came to this country to i wanted to become an aeronautic engineer right so my dad was like and before you jump into aeronautic engineer because it was really young that time i was like 17 16 right i still had time to depend in college before i can go to university right and it was like why don't i take an alternative and become an aircraft maintenance engineer first and see if i like aviation as a career and i went to school i did aircraft maintenance engineering i fell in love with aircraft maintenance engineering because it was more challenging it was physical i like working with my hands right those are the reasons i love those are the reasons why i chose aircraft maintenance engineering because it was different aeronautic engineer was more of a dex job and i'm not a type of person that loves sitting down on the decks and doing nothing right i love to be active i, I work out a lot you know i'm saying so i love to be physical with stuff i love new challenges and aircraft medicine engineering is one of those career that will give me that type of taste that i'm looking for right that is my reason and so you want to use personal stories and also mix it up with passion i love working with my hands i've always been good with electrical stuff i've always been good with mechanical stuff those are the reasons those are the, that's the best way to package that type of answer and this is a common question i have seen a lot of apprentices getting asked and the reason why i'm making this video is i do prep apprentices for interview and this is common questions i have seen them actually asking when i did my interview as an apprentice right this was the question i was asked right so that is the first question i have seen a lot of apprentices ask and that is how to answer it the second question i have seen a lot of apprentices ask during an interview is why did you apply to this complaint for this position which is the aircraft methods engineering apprentices right when companies ask you these questions they want to see the reason why you chose this company and now you can actually mix it up with the history of the company right the best format i personally usually recommend apprentice is you want to start with the history right so let's say for example i don't know company hey they they used to doing heavy maintenance they, they're heavy maintenance company mro company they have you know 23 30s right i do a little bit of research about the company right so if they ask me that type of question why did you apply to this company for this position right i would say you know company a has been in the industry for over 30 years good reputation and no for safety right they have a lot of fleet which is the 320s the 330s and the three sevens and that is one of the comp that's one of the aircraft i really want to work on and actually one of my favorite aircraft is the 220 and my goal is to get my type course is to get my aca on that aircraft and also teach other apprentices that are trying to get their license when i get my license right you see i have shown companies that not only do i know the history about the company right but they also have a fleet that i have passion with that i have interest in learning more about that aircraft and not only that i have showed the company that you know i want to expand my skills get more qualification so i have shown the company that i'm a liability right they can invest in me more also i can invest in other apprentices that are coming hard at me so those are the few questions that is the question i have seen a lot of apprentices getting asked during an interview you know what you want to apply to this company me i personally i usually go through the route of the history first then slowly i get more personal so whereby i'm like they have this fleet i I would love to get my type course on this fleet get a lot of experience on this fleet and also my goal is to actually teach 
other apprentices that are going to come under me so that way we can develop the, the good reputation about this company and increase the safety liability of this company you know what i mean so those are the that's the type of way to answer this type of question the third question i have seen a lot of apprentices getting asked during an interview is describe a situation whereby you were stressed and you were not sure about the task a reason why they has this question is because as an aircraft maintenance engineer the reality is especially for guys that are going to be working in line maintenance you are going to be in a lot of situation whereby you have deadline you are going to be in a lot of situation whereby you are not sure of something you are going to be in a lot of situation whereby you are stressed that's just the reality that is one of the things that come with being an aircraft maintenance engineer and that is because of the responsibility right but regardless of you being in that position you have to be comfortable and confident enough to find solution to that problem because companies make money when aircraft fly right and let's say for example you have a situation whereby you're not sure of a task right and you're just trying to figure it out yourself it's not helping the company you being the, trying to be the smartest person companies don't care about that right they care about the aircraft going outside and flying right so rather than you wasting time and trying to figure it out why don't you ask someone that has more experience than you do right because at the end of the day it's all about getting the plane out as fast as possible so if they ask me that type of question you know describe a situation whereby you know i was stressed i was not sure about a task and how did i go about it right me personally i like to use personal stories right let's say for example i don't know when i was in school i had a project we had to change the, the wheels of an aircraft and i you know i was not sure about i read my hmm i was not sure about how to change it i was stressed out my other teammate was not sure about the you no know, about the to do the task right the first thing we did was go to talk to our professor hey we're not sure about this task we've read the hmm but we don't understand can you explain to us right and my professor showed me how to do it and i actually did it i actually made way earlier than the deadline right and not only that one of my friends had the same situation the next day he was not sure about the project right and he came to ask me and i was able to teach him how to solve that problem you see how i have showed not only a good communication skill but also a good leadership skill right so those are the qualities companies are looking for as an aircraft maintenance engineer you have to be able to have a good communication skill this is something that i struggled starting off my career as an apprentice like i told you guys i've always been an introvert person i don't really talk that much but it's a skill that i had to develop you know i had to develop my communication skills to be able to not only talk to people but also teach that is why i'm here on youtube to educate people about aircraft maintenance engineer right so that is how to answer that question you want to show that you're not going to waste time because it's going to happen as an apprentice especially you know starting up the career you're not going to be sure about everything even me too sometimes i'm not sure about everything but the ability to be able to not waste time but go ask people that know better than you to solve that problem and also the ability to be able to be teach and also teach people right because at the end of the day it's all about getting knowledge and transferring the knowledge to other people that to me that makes you a really great aircraft maintenance engineer it's not all about just taking but the ability to also share the knowledge to other people right so that's the third question i have seen a lot of apprentices getting asked the fourth question i have seen a lot of apprentice getting has for an interview is what will you do if you make a mistake so this is a common question i have seen out of apprentice getting has also and the reason why they has this question is because they want to see if they can trust you with that aircraft so guys you gotta understand that you are working on a million dollar company aircraft right each aircraft costs at least 75 million dollars and, and not to only talk about the price of the aircraft people's life are also instead of how you do your, your maintenance right people's life on how you do your job you know about like i told you guys meant aircraft maintenance engineering and surgeon is really, really common because yes surgeon work directly on human beings but we actually work on a vehicle that carries hundreds of human beings right you know so one silly mistake can jeopardize people's life and that happening is going to not only hurt people's family but also jeopardize the reputation of companies and so people companies want to be able to be sure that the people that are hiring right they can trust them with this machine they can trust them with how they're going to do their job right so this is why i tell people 
the easiest way to get fired as an aircraft medicine engineer apprentice or license regardless of your experience right you can have 30 40 years of experience the easiest way to get fired is by had hiding stuff if you make a mistake and you hide it 100 percent you're getting fired 100 percent. i have not seen any company that will spare you most of the time you're gonna get fired right and you're gonna make mistake I have made mistake people that have 20 years of experience i've made mistake everybody's gonna make mistake but how you react to that mistake the step you take after making that mistake is the most important thing right so when you make a mistake first thing you want to do is you want to advise someone that who is your supervisor or your manager or even the licensed person you're working with right if they ask me that type of question describe a situation or what would you do if you make a mistake hey the reality is i'm gonna make a mistake but what would i do is i will go talk to my superior either my manager my supervisor my team lead or the acr person i am working with that shows a good communication skills and also that shows they can trust you with their aircraft they can only trust you with the reputation of the company because when you get hired you're part of a brand right like you know what i mean when you get hired you're part of a brand everybody in the company is part of a brand and how you represent that brand it do can actually have affect the reputation of that brand right so that's how to answer that question the last common question i have seen a aircraft medicine engineer apprentice getting asked in an interview is do you like doing the same task or different tasks every day the reason why they has this question is the reality is as an aircraft medicine engineer you are going to be doing different taxes every day and they want to see if you are somebody that loves getting challenged they want to see if you're somebody that wants to improve your knowledge right like i said companies when they start investing in you they did not only you get one type course you're gonna have at least two three four five type courses throughout your career right and every day you're gonna be doing something new something different something challenging right and if you're that type of person that just want to be doing one task <laughs> definitely not this is not a career for you the reality is you are going to be doing tasks every day so if they ask me that type of question do you like doing the same task or different tasks every day hey i love doing different tasks every day the reason why is because doing different tasks every day will increase my knowledge my information and also we increase my experience right so that way i can teach other people right now i now would not even talk about how bored you are doing the same thing every day you know what i'm saying where human beings doing the same thing every day for a really long time you get bored of it when i was bombarded aerospace starting on my career i was doing the same thing everything and i was getting tired of it until when they start getting more comfortable with me and you know they start seeing my skills that's when they start giving me different tasks every day but the reality is as an aircraft medicine engineer and a line maintenance or heavy maintenance, you are going to be doing different tasks every day. And that's just the reality. So yeah, those are the most common questions. Um, I've seen a lot of apprentices getting asked um, during an interview, right? Like I said, guys, I do help aircraft maintenance engineer apprentices in terms of job application, right? I hope you build your resume that will get you a high chance of getting a call for interview. And when you get an interview, I also prep you for an interview show you the common questions that have been asked so from my experience and also from the stories and questions i have helped apprentices right i get information every day because i help apprentices for jobs they tell me what they ask them guys i can show you the common questions i have seen a lot of similarities and i can teach you i can prep you up with the common questions so if you're that apprentice that need that type of help please before you apply you got to be an apprentice who just graduated from school you got to be an apprentice that graduated with accreditation you got to be an apprentice that is currently in canada or america right you got to be someone who is, who has those requirements you can be someone who is outside the country but you have to be someone that have had that educational background right and you're just trying to you need help in terms of building your resume and also interview preparation so if you're that type of candidate that qualify for those um i said um Click the link in the description and book a consultation and let me see how I can help you out. For you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Peter. I am a licensed aircraft medicine engineer and I have hundreds of videos regarding aircraft medicine engineer on my channel. Please don't forget to check out those videos out. And for you guys that are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Love you guys.